Moving on, PO 5943. We call on the Welsh Government to take urgent action to secure improvements to the A487 between Gethlid Idam and Maintrog. This petition was submitted by Karen Jones, having collected 2,595 signatures online and 2,855 on paper. That brings it to a total of 5,450 signatures. We are asking the Welsh Government to take urgent action to ensure that tangible improvements are made to the A487 between Gaethli Idan and Maintrog following the tragic and devastating accidents that have occurred there in the last two years. We must make sure that a definite change is made to the road so that such disasters do not happen again. So, look into the background on this. An initial response to the petition was received from the Minister for Economy, Transport and North Wales on the 12th of February, which you will have. A research brief has been provided and the petitioners have provided further comments. Um, uh, the Minister does state that works to improve road safety at this location began on the 3rd of February 2020 and so far the work includes signing and safety barrier work, a new 40 mile per hour speed restriction and speed measuring equipment. The letter also outlines that road fit surfacing work will take place following an investigation into the nature of the existing surfacing. This will include the laying of high friction surfacing and improved road markings. Um, that some improvements are being um, made, but it's not clear from the information that we've had whether or not the people behind the petition are uh, happy with mm. what's going on, whether they want to see more mm. uh, measures taking place. I think um, given that the people have got the support of their local councillor and Liz Saville Roberts, the, the local MP, it would be useful if we could write to those um, people and ask um, what their views are to see yeah. if there are any additional safety measures required on this stretch of road and I think we could write to the uh, council in Gwynedd as well to see um, what their views are and um, uh, if they've got any views on, on the current measures as well. Um, it's a substantial petition, it's mm -hmm. clearly a petition mm -hmm. that um, is, uh, has got quite a lot of um, emotion behind it mm -hmm. for obvious reasons mm -hmm. and um, my heart goes out to all of the people who've been um, affected by uh, that Absolutely. stretch of road and I think we need to as a committee do what we can to, mm -hmm. to help the people mm -hmm. behind the petition. Okay. I'd like to can, will members support that? Yeah, yeah. I'd like to Definitely. Uh, it says here that the A487 is assessed as low medium risk uh, right the way through. But obviously, <laughs> on this stretch, there, there seems to be a massive issue, really. You know, I think I'd like to express condolences to the uh, family uh, who've come down today. Um, clearly, a year later, there was, there was another, another uh, fatality. Um, I think I support Le Leanne in, in what she's saying there completely, and maybe we want to see exactly what else can be done. Mm. Uh, how, if, if there's a re reduction in speed of 40 miles an hour, how is that going to be enforced? Because mm. otherwise, it can be ignored. Um, so, I think we yeah, move this along as, as as best we can. Okay, and Jack, do you? I, I fully agree with both. Just a bit further on on Neil's comments about it. You know, how is it going to be monitored? So, on there is a, a comment from the local MP and, and councillor about average speed cameras. Now, I'm not sure what the, the process is for having them installed on that type of road, but perhaps that's something we could find out um, as a committee um, to see where we can push along that. And if, and if not, and that's not feasible, what are the other options um, available? Obviously, um, it's, a, it's certainly a difficult situation with no words, really. So, yeah. Um, Again, um, I'd like to pass you know, my condolences to the family and hopefully we can try and do something. Um, okay, and it's should have been there in the first place. Today, isn't it? Yeah. And then there's a petition and over today if members could yeah, be try mindful of that. Okay, so you know the direction of travel on this one. Okay, so just to confirm, we'll write to uh, Councillor Elvid Roberts um, and Liz Savile Roberts MP um, because both have been uh, 
vocal in the media about stretches being improvements being need be made to this stretch of road. So we'll, we'll seek some further information from them about um, the measures they believe should be taking place. We'll get a view from uh, Gwyneth Council as well, um, although. Albeit the road is the responsibility of the Welsh Government as the local authority, they may well have a view on um, matters relating to that stretch of road. And I think we'll um, use that information with a view to seeking some more information about the average um, speed cameras or any other measures that are proposed through those bits of correspondence from the Government at the next step. Yeah. Given the, um, the number of people who have signed this petition, um, there may be an opportunity for us to get a debate in plenary at some point in the future. Mm -hmm. um, given that we've got to gather some information before that point, um, do you think that that will happen in this assembly term, or is it more likely to happen after next year, next May, basically? How um, are we in terms of the timetable for plenary? I think there should be plenty of opportunity for that still to happen if that's in the this term. step that the committee Great. would want to go down. Yes. Um, yeah, we would expect responses, you know, within the, the, the committee to consider the petition again probably shortly after Easter. Um, okay. And so there's, there's plenty of opportunity um, if, if a plenary debate was ultimately where the committee wanted to progress. Okay. Yeah, Thank you. Just I know we do it. Anyway, keep in touch with petitioners and so on, but yeah. can we make sure we just do this extra on this to make sure we're guided in the right way. Yeah. And don't want it, you know, go go off on a, a tangent which may no, not be suitable. No. And if you can express the views of the committee, you know, to express our sincere condolences. Of course. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on.